here to discuss about the FM algorithm. FM algorithm helps us in counting distinct elements. The problem is such that we have a data stream consisting of uni universe of elements chosen from a set of a size of set n. Maintain a count of the number of distinct elements seen so far. So the FM approach picks a hash function h uh, that maps each of the n elements to at least log log base to n bits. For each of the element a, let r of a be the number of trailing zeros in h of a. So now you must wonder what is r of a. r of a is the position of the first one counting from the right. Example, say h of a equals to 12, then 12 is 1.00 in binary. Hence, r of a will be 2. Now, recall r, which is the maximum r of a seen. Here, uh, the r of the capital R in, is maintained in final counts record. Now, estimated number of distinct elements is 2 raised to r. So, 2 raised to greatest trailing is final counts record. So, here in this code, we have a data of 8 bits long. Then, hash function is defined as a into x plus b mod divided by mod c, where x is the element of the set. In input, we are taking the number of hash functions. You can specify any value and one ABC list. Now this ABC list is used to take input of the A, B and C values of the hash function. For I in range the input count. That is the number of hash functions. So you will enter the space value of ABC which is then appended to the ABC list. And we declare a list of final counts record. So for i in every ABC, that is for each and every hash function, we have another list called binary elements which will store the trailing zeros. So for j in the set data, data is the uh, bits in of n, bit, or n long. So all the binary trailing bits are stored in bit elements after we are done with uh, the hash function which is uh, a into b plus uh, 1 divided by c then greatest trailing is initially initialized to 0 and we do the reverse count so for i in reverse count if 1 is found so the count will be greater uh, count is obviously greater than the uh, greatest trailing so now the count will be appended uh, initialized to greatest trailing and once we have the greatest trailing for a particular bit we do it again for the another number and after all the small r of a's are calculated we find out the capital r so capital r here is the greatest trailing so when we want to find the number of distinct elements it is uh, 2 raised to greatest trailing. So then we print the count required for each hash function. Here as you can see, I have taken a list 4259167. So now the hash function is defined a into x plus b divided by mod of c, where x is an element of the set. Enter the number of hash functions. I have entered two hash functions. One is 3x plus 7 divide mod uh, 32 and another is 1x one, one plus 6 mod 32. And we get the maximum number of distinct elements or counts recorded for each hash as 16 and 8 respectively. Now, it is important to choose the correct hash value to find the number of distinct elements. As you can see, in this particular list, there are 8 
distinct elements. So hash value number two will be selected as the better hash function. Thank you.